Let's crack, let's code with KidBright. Part six, advanced application. Radio controlled car via a smartphone. What are you thinking about? Do you want a radio controlled car? Build it yourself with KidBright. You know how to code, but this one is not that easy. Let's give it a try. First, we need an engine to drive the wheels. That is a motor. It must be a DC motor because we can drive it forward, backward, slow, or fast. The DC motor consumes a lot of power. Our KidBright board cannot supply it. We thus need help from another board and KidBright is the brain of the system. Try to search with keywords like motor driver board. Which device will be used to control the car? Yes, a smartphone. KidBright provides a Bluetooth connection to connect with other devices. But there are no Bluetooth blocks in the KidBright IDE. You need to use other software to write some non-blocky codes. Also, you need to write your own smartphone application to control the car. Don't worry, all coding concepts are the same. Want to try? Very good! The concepts of moving forward and backward are easy to understand. But how to make a turn? We have to drive the motors differently. For example, if we want the car to turn left, the left motor must be slower than the right one. When the right motor is faster, the car will turn left. See how to control the motors in making a turn. Many coding programs can be used with KidBright. For example, Arduino IDE, which has a similar concept. However, we have to type codes and learn new words, which may be different from spoken languages, but we know the basics. The programs that we use to implement an application must be Android-based. For example, Android Studio. Similarly, we have to learn it from the basic we already know. The mobile screen is designed for slide buttons. When the buttons are at the center, the commands sent to the control motors are zero. In other words, no drive. If the buttons are pushed forward to their maximum, both motors are driven equally to 100. Moving backward is similar. To make a turn, we just send commands to drive one motor fast and the other motor slow. To connect the KidBright board in order to send commands to other boards, there are not only output 1 and output 2 terminals, but also other more complex terminals. Let's start making the car. Mount the wheels and motors on the car body. Connect the motor control board. Connect it with the KidBright board. Install batteries. Set up a smartphone to connect to the car. Try to control the car. Excellent! Starting with the KidBright blocky code and letting kids have fun, they will play with analytical thinking, learning, and creativity, and they will be ready to make their ideas happen. Let's crack, let's code with KidBright.